Hello friend, welcome to the channel Pharmacy Dictionary. In our previous video, we have uploaded different routes of drug administration. We also provided their comparative study by comparing their advantage versus their limitation. From today's video onwards, we are going to start the systemic route of drug administration. And from today's videos, we are going to start the oral route of drug administration. Likewise, we will go one by one for different example of systemic route of drug administration. So first of all, we should know what is the meaning of systemic route of drug administration any drug which is intended to be absorbed in the blood so that that drug may move across the body along with that blood that is called systemic route of drug administration unlike the local route the local effect of particular drug can be seen only in the particular or restricted part but in case of systemic drug absorption the drug will completely absorb in blood and move all over the parts inside our body so this is called systemic and this is very important as compared to therapeutic point of view as compared to desirable activity point of view along with their broad coverage area because that will drug because that drug will move all over the body now let's start the first drug under the systemic route of drug administration that is oral route of drug administration we have taken so many tablets. It may be either chewable tablet, it may be either analgesic drug, antipyretic drug, or any other kind of drug. Most of the drugs are of oral drug root administration. That means many drugs are suitably meant for oral root of drug administration because this oral root of drug administration is one of the oldest and commonest method available for the introduction of any drug for their desirable activity because it is easy and there are so many advantages. So let me allow you to show with different advantage with respect to their limitation also so we are starting with their advantage the first advantage says that it is safest and more convenient what is the meaning of this particular advantage this is safest what does it mean safest means this route of drug administration is safe because it may be eliminated if an accident have taken place if you thought that drug should not be taken if you have taken any drug mistakenly then you may vomit it out by applying finger or applying different emetics drug you can vomit it out within a few few minutes that is as safe as dose and there is no such pain there is no such uncomfortable in this route of drug administration let me show you i have different examples of tablets this tablet can be easily taken if i have to take this tablet i will simply break the strip take one tablet no need to measure the quantity because it's already in a titrated dose so just i have to take a tablet if it is chewable tablet i should continue shaving this tablet or i just can swallow this by use of help of water glass of water so these are simple method safest method and more convenient because it is very easy to carry you can place this drug in your pocket you can carry it on you can put it in your bag there is no chances of spoilage no splitting etc but in case of different route of drug administration you will be having problem like injection and other and oral route of drug administration also used for syrup or other solution and this bottle comes with a measuring cap so you can easily measure the quantity as given in the cap of this particular bottle so that can be easy for any patient of any age group to take overall route of drug admission of any form solid liquid or any other suitable method via oral route of administration so next advantage say does not need assistance no one need anyone to help take a medicine if i have to take this tablet i just prick this and take it i will not need any other person for help me in this process i will not need any assistant i should not require to based on rely upon any nurses or physician i can take this by myself now next one is non-invasive and painless as you know in case of intravenous the drug has to be given by injection and injection is painful and i will need some assistant to take that particular drug but in this case of oral route of drug administration it is non-invasive no need to prick any part of your body and second one is painless there will be no pain while taking any drug via oral route of drug administration as compared to the other one like parenteral that means intravenous intramuscular yes subcutaneous coming to the next one that is medicament need not to be sterile 
so if you are taking any drug via injection via ampule so please try to remember it in few earlier times we used to boil that particular needle with serine so that if there is any contamination that may be destroyed by moist heat sterilization principle but for this kind of tablet this kind of capsule and different example of oral doses contain also capsule so this capsule this tablet does not require any process of sterilization and no need to be sterile because many of them will go to the oral route and then they will reach to the stomach and at the stomach there is a strong acid that can kill if any microorganisms are present on the tablet so there is no need for sterilization next point is economic both solid and liquid can be given this is one of the most cheapest i must say or economic route of drug administration because many of the doses form are of different price category in that category oral route of drug administration usually comes in an economic range about 220 Two rupees to twenty rupees, even fifty paise, even twenty-five paise may be variable. But if we talk about the parenteral route, if we talk about the transdermal patches or inhalation route, that may be costlier as compared to the oral route of drug administration. So this route of administration is affordable for any of the age group, and you have to explain all this point, all this parameter in your main exam, semester exam, or whatever exam for you are preparing. Now next one is both solid and liquid can be given. in case of inhalation you cannot give the solid doses form in case of intravenous intramuscular transdermal subcutaneous you cannot give the solid doses form but in case of oral route of administration you can give both solid as well as liquid so even some some case of solid semi solid too so these are very convenient for both case of solid doses form and liquid doses form and now we have to see some limitation everything has two aspect like every coin has two side so if there are so many advantage of oral doses form there must be some limitation there must not be but there are some limitation and like these are first action of drug is slower not for emergency as i told you or i am showed you the different practical purpose of this particular category that solid doses form need to go to the stomach then after reaching to the stomach they will go for disintegration then go for dissolution then only they will be absorbed and produce their action it may take around approximately 10 to 15 minutes but in case of other doses form like intravenous it will take 0 seconds to produce its action that is the comparison between this oral route of drug administration so in general case in case of fever in case of uh, infection in case of headache you can go for this normal traditional tablet or any other oral, oral doses form is but in case of emergency severe trauma severe injury you should rely only upon the intravenous or parenteral route of drug administration the next limitation says unpalatable drug or bitter drug are difficult to take if this drug is sweet in nature this is this is a gelosil it is sweet in of different flavor if i am taking limsi that is vitamin c tablet that is good if i am taking strepsil that is good in orange flavor or any other flavor there is no such issue in this case but if i am talking about the chloroquine then what will be happen if i am taking about different kinds of anti diabetic drug then what will be happen all those drug are bitter in taste so if the drug is extremely bitter then we have to coat it apart from coating we cannot use that case and in some cases there is coating not possible then we have to take it very carefully so that may be unpalatable they cannot be easily palatable and unacceptable especially for child group that is why we have to coat that drug with sugar coating chocolate coating any other coating this is a limitation of oral doses form next one may cause nausea and vomiting as like the previous one if the drug is bitter in taste then that drug may cause vomiting or nausea it may start from nausea and may or may not be converted into vomiting that is a, a, another limitation of oral route of drug administration and in some cases some tablet may be stick towards the soft or hard palate of your mouth so that may also cause nausea and vomiting even sometime the size of tablet is larger as compared to the normal one so some people feel phobia to take this kind of drug that may a problematic condition especially for the children now coming to the next point that cannot be given for uncooperative 
अनकॉन्सियस और एनी पर्सन हु इज कंटिन्यूसली वोमिटिंग इट आउट दैट मीन्स इफ पेशेंट और पर्सन इज नॉट सपोर्टिंग यू इफ ही और शी कंप्लीटली डिनाई टू टेक मेडिसिन देन हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल फॉर यू टू गिव हिम और हर अ टैबलेट दैट इज नॉन कॉपरेशन दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू गिव एनी ओरल डोजेस फॉर्म बट इन केस ऑफ अनकॉन्सियसनेस हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल इफ पर्सन इज नॉट इन कॉन्सियसनेस ही कैन नॉट ओपन हर और हिस्स माउथ एस पर योर इंस्ट्रक्शन देन हाउ विल यू इंट्रोड्यूस टैबलेट you may but it is very difficult but in how one person chances that you can give them syrup but it is totally not possible with the case of solid doses form like tablet capsule and other even syrup is also not possible but in some circumstances it may be possible but tablets capsule is totally not possible and if the person is continuously vomiting in some cases some disease the vomiting is usual so if i am giving the drug of any other purpose then drug may come out with the vomiting that is a problem so we cannot give that particular oral doses form in case if patient is continuously vomiting it out now next limitation say few drug are not absorbed by oral route of drug administration like streptomycin there are so many drug which upon the their chemical parameter may not be absorbed via oral route of drug administration that is why we have to select any other suitable method from which that drug may be absorbed this is a limitation for few drugs coming to the next one some drug are destroyed by gastric juice like insulin penicillin g and few drug are also destroyed by liver like lidocaine testosterone and trinitroglycerin so there are some drug which depends upon their nature may be get destroyed by oral route of drug admission few of them are destroyed by gastric juice that is acid which is present inside the stomach like uh, insulin penicillin g this can be destroyed by gastric acid now there are some research are going on to allow the insulin via oral route of administration but that work is going on apart from that many other can many other drug cannot be given by oral route just because to prevent their degradation by hcl and there are few drug like trinitroglycerin testosterone lidocaine which cannot be given by oral route because after reaching to the portal that means after reaching through the portal vein to the liver that may be destroyed so these are basic limitation of oral route of drug administration but in case all this parameter are suitable for that particular dose form then you may go for this oral route of drug administration if you are not in hurry then you can go for oral route of drug administration if the drug is not bitter in taste then you can go for the oral route of drug administration but the, if the patient is unconscious but in case of emergency and different other cases like the degradation process so you have to prefer any other route of drug administration so friend that's all for today uh, today in this lecture i have talked about the oral route of drug administration their advantage and their basic limitation from next video we will talk about different route of drug administration under systemic are uh, their respective advantage and their limitation so if you want to take the screenshot of this lecture you can have the screenshot after some time even i have already uploaded all this pdf that comparison between different route of drug administration which you can download for free just go for the description box and check the link thank you very much for watching this video please do take care of yourself namaskar take care